the early detection of peripheral neuropathy is crucial to avoid complications in the foot. Therefore, we must carry out some simple but effective tests of sensation. To carry out the examination, patients should be in the supine position with their feet on a cushioned surface and with nothing to distract them. As each part of the examination begins, we should tell them what they should feel and how to tell us, saying yes or no or by raising their hand. Evaluation of sensation, superficial, tactile, thermal, pain, deep, vibratory or palasphetic, pressure or barasphetic, superficial tactile sensitivity. For this evaluation, we can use a fine paintbrush or cotton. We should explain the examination to the patient. Softly caress both lateral segments of the foot with a paintbrush or cotton. The superficial tactile sensation is considered lost when the patient is incapable of detecting the paintbrush or cotton. Superficial sensitivity to heat. For this examination, we can use either test tubes with water at different temperatures or a thermal rod the examination is based on the principles of Fourier's law. Explain the examination to the patient. Apply the thermal rod or test tubes to both sides of the feet. Sensitivity to heat is considered altered when the patient is incapable of distinguishing differences in the temperatures of the tools applied. Superficial sensitivity to pain. We use the pinprick method. Explain the examination to the patient. Apply the pin approximately 90 degrees to the cutaneous surface of the nail fold of the big toe using slight pressure for one or two inches. If the patient cannot feel the pain, pricking, repeat the examination at the plantar level, in the fleshy part of the big toe, and at the first and fifth metatarsal heads provided there is no hyperkeratosis. The protective sensitivity to pain is considered lost when the patient cannot distinguish between painful or non-painful stimuli. Deep palesthetic or vibratory sensitivity. We use a 128 Hz tuning fork with a base. There are two kinds that can be used for the examination and graduated tuning forks, which give qualitative results, and Rydal cipher tuning forks, which give quantitative results. Normal values are above 6 eighths for patients under 60 years of age, and above 4 eighths for patients above 60 years of age. Explain the examination to the patient. Hit the tuning fork with the palm of the opposite hand, and hold its base against the interphalangeal joint of the big toe. If the patient is incapable of perceiving the vibration, repeat the examination in the medial malleolus and in the lateral malleolus. If the ungraduated tuning fork is used, the patient must indicate whether or not he perceives the vibration. Here, we observe the intersection of the triangles in the dampers which vary with the oscillation of the tuning fork. Deep pressure or barasthetic sensitivity. We use the Sems-Weinstein 5.07 monofilament. This instrument can be used to determine the sensitivity to pressure. It also integrates components of tactile sensitivity. Explain the examination to the patient. Apply the monofilament to the cutaneous surface of the nail fold of the big toe at a 90 degree angle until the monofilament curves in for 1 to 1.5 inches. At this point, the linear pressure is 10 grams per, per square centimeter. If the patient cannot perceive a sensation, 
repeat the examination at the more proximal level, based on the big toe, first and fifth metatarsal heads. The examination should not be performed in areas of hyperkeratosis or ulcer. Protective sensation is considered lost when the patient cannot detect the filament. The pinprick or monofilament is applied to the plantar aspect of the foot. Soft flesh of the big toe, first and fifth metatarsal heads, as this is the area with the greatest incidence of neuropathic ulcers.